Okay, Facebook fans, uh, City of Milwaukee community, this is day two. Uh, Representative Jason Fields live, raw and uncut, honest discussions about what's going on in our community. Um, and you're hearing it from real people. And so we just want to bring the, the, the information to you so that, as you can see, as we move around, we're making sure that as a state elected official, you can see that I don't make decisions just based off what I believe. Rather, I'll go to the community to help us make decisions for the community so that we can move in a better place. And so we have Reverend Macklin at Community Baptist Church. Uh, I'm humbled and honored to be in his presence again. He was just giving me a lot of wisdom as we ate breakfast. A lot of distinguished gentlemen here. And I want to make sure that you guys know that when I first ran for office, I went to the community asked permission to run. I didn't just decide to do it. And I got wisdom from uh, Roy Evans, a lot of individuals in the community. And so we just want to have an open, honest discussion. And here we go. So Reverend Macklin, Macklin, we're here at the community network, the men's network. Why, why, do you, why, why are we doing this? Well, we talked about, we've been together for about a year and a half right now at a separate building from my church right here on Sherman and North Avenue. One of the fellows in our church and another had gone visiting a men's group uh, other than here a couple of years ago. And, and after going there, he saw the need for more of a men getting together in the church other than being led by our wives and girlfriends all the time. So after we had a con concession about it, uh, uh, Michael and, and, and uh, Melvin had gotten together. We talked about uh, starting a men's group here at the Caribbean Baptist Church that had more to do with an outreach. So we meet every Tuesday at 8.30, and we talk about things that affect our community more than anything else. It's not just church talk, per se, but we're talking about things that men should have a more of a forefront of dealing with in our own community. And what, and Roy, you, Roy Evans, uh, you know, you, you've been an activist, a lawyer, lawyer in the community. You've been involved politically on a number of fronts. What, what are the issues that our community faces? And, you know, I know you're not sure of the words. <laughs> so, so where, where, where are we at now? Tell me, in your words, where, we, where do we need to go? Wow, that, that's, a, that's a heavy question, <laughs> heavy set of questions. But uh, I'm glad to be a part of the Men's Network. I'm always looking for power sources in our community to be a part of, to give me some inspiration and also to inspire and challenge. And since I live across the alley and saw these guys meeting over here, I came over and saw the potential. And it's my belief that in the African American community, just being specific, the strength of our community is the African American men. Uh, and I think it's important for us to step forward and become leaders. But we have to overcome a lot of things that have been placed upon us, meaning that we've got to learn to communicate with each other, learn to share feelings, so that we can develop a trust. Because once we develop a trust, then we can talk about the issues, which there's a merit of. Because if we start talking about the issues without developing a trust, which allows us to develop a game plan to deal with those issues, then it's just idle chatter. So we've been meeting for over a year now on these Tuesdays, having breakfast, fellowshipping, sharing information, and doing some other types of uh, activities, which I think has allowed us to be a lot more comfortable, to uh, speak out more, uh, to support people like yourself and Jermaine Buckner and some of the young folks that are coming up. And I think we as black men in Milwaukee need to step forward as the leaders that we are. And I think we need to come forward uh, not only as a leader, but we need to provide leadership because leadership is when leaders come together and provide an overall map for the community. So we like to support people like yourself. I mean, I think it's critically important because, again, a leader can't be a leader without people to follow and support him. So my big, there's a lot of issues we can talk about, but again, this is probably not the good time to talk about those issues but just talk about the issue of us coming together, developing our strength, understanding, trusting each other, so that we can be a lot stronger as a community. It, it, you know, and that's you know, what, what Roy hit on one thing is real good, but I just want to reiterate one thing. Yeah, we have this Community Baptist Church in our separate building over here, but majority of the time that we get together, and we've had over this past year and a half, we made 25, 30 percent of the fellas that come in here uh, and meet with us on Tuesday to have breakfast and all. Don't even belong to uh, Community Baptist Church or belong to a church itself. 
But there's one thing that we've been gaining, and it's a simple thing that, like you were expressing, uh, Brother Field, is that you have to be in the community to know what's in the community and what you're talking about. You can't come here sporadically. You're a regular visitor to us. I mean, we know you in the community, and we feel comfortable talking to you. And, that, and that's what we're trying to do here, to get men to be more comfortable with themselves and express their views without being a negative and expressive views, but also very positive how we get out of some of the situations we're in. Okay, we're gonna go to the next.